Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Haley and today we are going to be trying Oogie Boogie Bash for the first time. For those of you that have followed me for a while, you know that I do Mickey's Not So Scary every year. But Disneyland finally released a couple August dates which made it possible for us to go try out Oogie Boogie Bash with my Little Nightmare Before Christmas fan. If you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Let's get started. Now, the best decision I made was booking us last minute at the Grand Californian. I know it's pricey, but the convenience to the parks, like its own entrance into California Adventure, saved us a ton of time and stress. Plus, if you look out front, they normally have these huge lines, like I'm showing a picture right here. This was easy. The line moved fast. We were in the park in the matter of a couple minutes. This entrance comes out right by Grizzly River Run. So we did have to buy Lightning Lane. And we've already booked two, and it's 3.15. We're about to hop on our first ride, which is Grizzly Rapids. Jeffrey, you look suspicious. See, Jeffrey, it was a nice little ride. Sorry, I don't speak bear. A bear! <laughs> So another thing to keep in mind is that if you're going to use Lightning Lane when you can get in early at 3 for Oogie Boogie, um, you have to be in the park. A little different than what I've done in Disney World, but you have to be in the park. So as soon as we came through California Adventure, I booked the closest one, which was Grizzly River. We only had to wait 10 minutes for our Lightning Lane time, and we've already rebooked Soren for 3.30. So here we go. Soren was great as usual. After this, we had a little bit of time till our next lightning lane. So we got a little snack. Liv got to spend a little time with Donald. Jeff went missing and then we found him. What did you find? Pickle and a beer. Jeez Louise. We only had a few moments, but then it was time to head over to our next lightning lane, which was Web Slingers. We were really excited to get this one. Funny, you can stop doing that now. But anyway, you got Next, it was time to head to Pixar Pier for our final lightning lane. We absolutely love these little billboards. Before it was time for our lightning lane, we had to try Jack Jack's Cookie Num Num because it is delicious. They're all right. Another ride complete. Now we walked down the pier for a little bit. Olivia did a little shopping, as you can see. Saying you've been playing. Before we decided to head to our last and final lightning lane, Olivia did single rider on the Incredic coaster, and then it was time for us to walk over and finish the night out on the Little Mermaid ride. <laughs> would definitely say if you're coming in a slower time not the end of October to Oogie Boogie and you're doing that 3 p.m. entry take a look at the tip board for the day to see if Lightning Lane is going to be worth your while in just over two hours like two hours and 15 minutes we've been able to get in five rides that's Grizzly Run, um, Soarin, Credit Coaster, Web Slingers and The Little Mermaid. I think that's a great price and that's definitely cheaper than paying for like a full day park ticket. So just something to keep in mind. So since we finished the Credit Coaster and Little Mermaid, we are chilling out with you right now in San Francisco Square and this is the path we're gonna do. We're gonna come around here to cars, hit all the photo shops, start in seven, work our way around, come back up, We'll definitely hit SIDS, probably hit the parade over here for the second one, end in Villains Grove, and then get back into California Adventure, or sorry, Grand California. Gotta get a picture. Hello, I am Famex, your personal macaroon. Ah! Yay! Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god, we in Disney mode. So since we were in San Francisco Square, we were going to start with the Big Hero 6 Villain Treat Trail, and we were met with quite the surprise. So that is the tree trail line. You're seeing it right. The tree trail started all the way into Cars Land for that. The line was so long, we couldn't believe it. So Jeff and Olivia opted to do single rider for Cars. 
Well, they did that. I opted to walk around Cars Lane and look at all the decorations. I think this is probably the best decorated area. And I know it is a main focal point for this party. But between the little character stops where you could get your picture and the different decorations just hanging all around, it was super cute. Single ride cars are so fast. It's a great day to dish. Now, you probably heard Jeff talking about the single rider line for cars. It was much faster than the 40-minute wait, so maybe give single rider a try during the party. We decided it was time to head to our first treat trail. We headed back to Avengers Campus to do Agatha Harkness, and this was what the line situation looked like. The woman playing Agatha did a great job. Some hunting, too, of your own kind, aren't you? Yes, take a picture at last longer, and I know I've been allowed around for centuries. Perfect. And a birthday. Happy, Hi, Holmes. <laughs> Happy Halloween to you again. Don't think I didn't remember. <laughs> what could be better? Twice as nice seeing me. All right, so our Happy first Halloween. treat trail is done. The line, I will tell you, is a lot more deceiving than it looks. I mean, it was wrapping around right to cars. Um, and it was about eight minutes, eight, nine minutes all the way through and there were four different, sorry, you can see all four fingers, four different opportunities to get treats, one even here on the way out. Then it was time to head to Monsters After Dark. It was a short way and this is for Halloween only. Highly recommend doing this. A little snack here at the test kitchen. What'd you get the Jeffrey? The not so little chicken sandwich. That's a huge chicken sandwich. This is the impossible spoonful. It looks delicious. And then it was time to head over and do some more treat trails with the characters. While we waited for the first parade to finish, we went on Monster Inc. to kill some time before going to see Oogie Boogie. <laughs> Needless to say, Oogie Boogie was definitely Olivia's favorite. And one thing I want to point out, and I did not take a video of it, is when you're handed your wristband at Oogie Boogie Bash, there is a QR code that is scannable on that for all of these different photo spots. So as you're walking through, looking at the beautiful lights, you're going to see that there's a variety of character meet and greets available. Like just over here past the plaza, what you'll see in a moment there was Prince Hans of the Southern Isles. Captain Hook was over here. So when you walk up and you get your picture taken, they just scan that QR code. And a great feature about Oogie Boogie Bash is that those photos come with your party ticket. They are not an additional cost for you to download. So you don't need to worry about taking photos all night. Wonderful, my dear. Well, I do hope you collect more tricks and treats. And this time of the night, we headed back over to Cars because we wanted to see it all lit up. And it is so beautiful. So make sure you do it at nighttime, not just during the day. And after we walked through here, I decided it was time to find a decent spot for the parade. If I were to do this again, I would actually book one of these dessert dining options for best seating because here is 30 minutes before, which is what most bloggers recommended, and it is packed. Sleepy Hollow, long, long ago, 
tiptoe Ichabod Crane, nervously slow. For he'd heard the dreadful legend that Tom Snow told of a Halloween spirit, fiendish and bold. Now, one thing I will say, overall as a whole, I will be comparing Oogie Boogie versus Not So Scary because I did attend both this season. The overall parade at Disneyland was truly, truly magical, and it might be my favorite parade, although I do love Disney World soundtrack. The characters, the style of the parade was great, so I'm going to show you a few more clips so you can see what to expect. Our parade spot was perfect because we were able to head right over to Villains Grove from this spot and we loved this. to the park we're just gonna walk right in our hotel worth every penny right now it was an early morning flying in here at 6 a.m but this was completely worth it and of course i had to tease my husband who kind of gave me crap because we were at the hilton hey jeffrey i thought you were walking to the front of the park to well, go to the I hilton to go to the hilton no Oh, it's just a shame. Tonight. It's a shame. Why not, Jeffrey? It's a long walk. Hi, it's Mark when we get our luggage brought up. Uh, what is our room number, dear? 
So within, what, Jeffrey, two, three minutes, we are back in our room. The beat's waiting for a shuttle. A car. Ah, you guys, worth it. We're going to go to bed. We're all going to collect our thoughts. Yep. And then give you the full breakdown, especially since we are definitely Mickey not so scary people since we live on the east coast but first we need to sleep collect our thoughts we will be back and we will be comparing this to not so scary giving our final thoughts and hopefully look a little bit more put together this is 20 plus thousand steps running on theme park food so see you in